Here is an electric circuit and as you can see we have got a 6 volt battery, we've got an ammeter and we've got two resistors, one of 40 ohms and one of 20 ohms and they're all connected in series. How do we know that? Well, we know that the current is going to move through the battery, through here, round this circuit, and it's got nowhere else to go. It doesn't split up. So what we say is we have a series circuit. Now, what we have to do here is work out the potential differences across each of these resistors. And what does that mean? It means taking a voltmeter and placing it across the resistor and finding out what the potential difference or the voltage is across that resistor. And doing the same thing here, finding the potential difference across this resistor. Now, as a set way to do this, we will remove the voltmeters for the moment. And what we do is the following. We simply do the following strategy. First of all, we work out the total resistance of the circuit. To do that, we just look at the two resistances and add them together. And then if we find the total resistance of the circuit, the next part of our strategy is to find the current flowing through the ammeter, which will also mean the current flowing through each resistor. So let's first of all work out the total resistance of the circuit. And the total resistance of the circuit can be found by saying RT is equal to the sum of the two resistors. So we have 20 ohms plus the 40 ohm resistor. And that's going to give us a total resistance of 60 ohms. Now we can work out the current which is going to be going around that circuit. But we can use the following formula, V equals IR. We can rearrange for I and get that the current I is going to go to V divided by R. So we know the current is going to be V. In this case, it's going to be 6 volts divided by the total resistance, which is going to be 60 ohms. So we're going to get a current flowing around that circuit of 0 0.1 amps. So now we know the current flowing around the circuit, we can look at each individual component, each individual resistor, and we can actually do what we call our Sudoku method. Just watch. We can put a wee label for this resistor here and put down V, I and R. That means we want to find V, the voltage across it, or the potential difference, the current going through it, and its resistance. Well, we know two things already. We know that the value of the resistance is going to be 20 ohms. And we know the current going through it is going to be 0 0.1 ohms, 0 0.1 amps, sorry. So all we have to do is find V, and we can see we can use the equation V equals IR to find the potential difference of the voltage across this resistor. So the voltage is simply going to be 0 0.1 times the 20, which is going to give you 2 volts. So we now know that across that resistor, there's going to be 2 volts. What does that mean? It means that for every coulomb of charge that passes through that resistor, it's going to lose 2 joules of energy given up into heat. The electrical energy changed into heat. What about the potential difference or voltage across the 4 ohm resistor? Well, I can use a bit of smart knowledge here. I know that if I've been given 6 volts from the battery and I've spent 2 volts across this resistor, then there must only be 4 volts across that resistor. But to double check, I can use my Sudoku method again by putting down a little label V, I and R and filling in everything I know. I know the value of the resistance is 40 ohms. I know the current going through it is the same, 0.1 amps and therefore the voltage V is going to be equal to V equals IR is going to be 0 0.1 times 40 which equals 4 volts and lo and behold we have got the voltage across that resistor. Now let's think what's happening here. The 6 volts of the battery means that each coulomb of charge that passes through that battery is going to gain 6 joules per coulomb. 6 joules for every coulomb that passes through that battery. When it passes through this resistance here, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Resistance absorbs. It makes it harder for the electric current to go through there. So it's going to give up some of its energy. In this case, it's going to give up 4 joules for every coulomb that passes through that resistor. Which just leaves the amount of 2 joules per coulomb in the tank. So you can see that the voltage across these two resistors here add up to give you the supply. Another way of describing that circuit is a voltage divider circuit. You can see how by having different values of resistance, we have different values of voltage. And the clue is, the bigger the value of resistance, the bigger the potential.
potential difference across that resistor. In other words, the bigger the drop in energy per coulomb across that resistor. So that's how you do the simple series circuit, working out the current first of all, first of all the total resistance, then the current, and then you can go ahead and concentrate on each of the resistors and put down your little list, V, I and R, we call it Sudoku method, because when you fill in the spaces, you have to fill in the final one, and if you get two out of three, you can find the third one. Here we've got an electric circuit with a 6 volt battery and it's attached to three resistors. And we can see that two of those resistors are connected in parallel. That's these two resistors here, the 20 ohm and the 20 ohm resistor. They're connected in parallel. And of course this part here, this is 30 ohm resistor, is connected in series. So we have the battery, the resistor and the parallel part with two 20 ohm resistors connected in parallel. Now, my job is to find out how or what will be the potential difference across the 30 ohm resistor. And to do that, I first of all must work out the total resistance of the circuit, and then find the total current in the circuit, and then put down the list V, I and R for this resistor here. So let's see how we can do that then. To do it, first of all, we must find the combined resistance of the 20 ohms and 20 ohms in parallel. Now, I can do that by just using my parallel resistance formula. 1 upon RT is 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. So that's going to give me the following sum. 1 upon 20 plus 1 upon 20. So really 1 upon RT then is going to be equal to 2 over 20. And therefore, I can flip things over and I can find what RT is. RT is 20 over 2, which equals 10 ohms. So I can replace those two parallel resistors with a 10 ohm resistor. And I can make the circuit look like that. Another way of doing that very quickly, if you see two resistors which have got the same value and they're in parallel, you just half the answer, uh, to, you just half the resistance value to get the combined resistance. So in this case 20, half of 20 is 10. So no matter which way we do it, we get a combined resistance there of 10 ohms. Now I've got a much simpler circuit, and I now can go and find the total resistance of the circuit. And the total resistance of this circuit our total, I'll write down, is just simply equal to the first resistance plus the second resistance. So that's going to equal to 10 ohms plus your 30 ohms. So you're going to get a total resistance of 40 ohms. So the complete total resistance of that circuit is 40 ohms. Now I can find the current, which is going to help me find the voltage across each of those resistors. The current flowing in that circuit will be equal to the, the total, the total voltage, 6 volts, divided by the total resistance of that circuit. So that's going to give us a value of 6 divided by 40, and we do that in my calculator, we get the following answer, 0 0.15 amps. So I now know that it's going to be 0 0.15 amps flowing in that circuit. Now I can employ my Sudoku method and concentrate on each resistor. Remember, I'm trying to find the voltage on the voltmeter across this resistor here. Another word is I've, I can use is I've got to find the potential difference across this resistor or the voltage drop. So how do we do it? Well below the resistor we put down our V, I and R. We can also work out this one as well if we want to. V, I and R. And we know that the current flowing through this part of the circuit is 0 0.15 amps. We know the value of the resistance is 30 ohms. And we know the current flowing through this resistor is going to be the exact same, 0 0.15 amps. And the total resistance is going to be 10 ohms. So we do the calculation here. We can see that V, we've got I, we've got R. So V is going to be equal to I times R. So 0 0.15 times 30. That's going to give us a value of 4.5 volts. So I now know that the potential difference across this resistor is going to be 4.5 volts. So what will be the potential difference across this one? Well, you can see by our calculation it's going to be the current, 0 0.15 times the resistance, which is 10. It's going to give us 1.5 volts. So the potential difference or the voltage across this resistor will be 1.5 volts. 
So if I take my voltmeter and I put it across this value here, then I'm going to read 4.5 volts. If I take the voltmeter across this way and put it across that resistor, I'm going to read 1.5 volts. Now, do you notice that the sum of the voltages dropped across each resistor must add up to give me my supply, which is 6 volts. So I've got 1.5 plus 4.5 gives us 6 volts. And the story of that circuit is the following. If you've got a coulomb of charge, remember a coulomb of charge going through this battery, it will gain 6 joules of energy, or 6 joules of electrical energy. As it comes across this resistor here, it's going to lose 4.5 joules of that original 6, which means it's going to have only 1.5 joules left through this resistor here. Another name for this, this circuit is called the voltage sharer circuit. And you can see why. If we arrange these two resistors like this in series, then each one will take a share of the voltage. The bigger the value of resistance, the bigger the share of the voltage it will take. 30 ohms is a lot bigger than 10 ohms, and 4.5 volts is bigger than 1.5 volts. So that's how we go about working our way around this circuit. Here we have an electric circuit which has three resistors in the circuit. You can see we've got a battery, ammeter, and 30 ohm resistor connected in series. And in this part of the circuit, we have got the parallel part. We've got the 40 ohm and the 24 ohm resistor in parallel. But the question asks us, what will be the potential difference across the 30 ohm resistor when the switch is open and when the switch is closed? So to do the first one when the switch is open, we have to realise that when that switch is open, the 40 ohm resistor in fact is going to disappear because the electricity the current is not going to get up through that resistor. So we've actually switched it off. So when I open that switch, then the circuit looks like that. It just looks like two resistors, the 24 and the 30 ohm in series. So I want to find the potential difference across this resistor. I follow through my strategy. Find the total resistance, and the total resistance is equal to, in this case, just simply 24 ohms plus the 30 ohms. That gives us a total resistance, in this case 54 ohms is the total resistance of that circuit. Now what I have to do now is find the current flowing in that circuit because that's going to unlock the value of the potential difference across this resistor. So the current is easily found, it's equal to V divided by R, and R is the total resistance in this case. So it's 9 divided by 54, and the answer is going to become 0.17 amps. So I now know that the current flowing through that circuit is 0 0.17 amps and that's when that switch open which leaves it just with a 24 and 30 ohm resistor. Now that I've got the current I can go down and write below the resistor which I'm looking at the three most important things and fill them in just like Sudoku. I know the current I is going to be 0 0.17 amps. I know the resistance is going to be 30 ohms, as it tells you. And therefore, up here, the voltage is simply going to be the current times the resistance, which equals 0 0.17 multiplied by 30. And that's going to give us a value of 5.1 volts. So there, I found the voltage across that resistor when the switch is open. So if I take my voltmeter and put it across there, I'm going to get 5.1 volts. Now, what's going to happen when I close that switch? So this is a situation when I've got the switch closed. I've got a 40 ohm and a 24 ohm resistor now to take care of. So I must do that resistance first of all. So to do that, I rely on my parallel formula. 1 upon RT for the parallel part is 1 upon 40 plus 1 upon 24. Now I can do my calculator. I can you put the 1 upon 40 in as follows, 40, and press that X to minus 1 button. That just means 1 upon 40. Add on 24. And it's going to be the X to minus 1 button. That gives me an answer of 1 over 15. So right away I can say that answer is going to be 1 upon 15. So to find the RT, that just simply equals 15 ohms. So now I've worked out the parallel part of that circuit and I can replace the 40 ohm and the 24 ohm with a resistor of the value of 15 ohms.
And look, I'm back down to a simple series circuit again. So, same strategy. I want you to find the voltage across the 30 ohm resistor. I find, first of all, the complete total resistance of the circuit. So, the new total resistance is going to be 15 ohms. That's the parallel part, plus the 30 ohms. That's going to give me a total of 45 ohms. My next step, find the current flowing in the circuit. And the current I is going to equal to V divided by the total resistance of the circuit, which is going to be 45. It's going to be 9 divided by 45. And that's going to give me a new current of 0 0.2 amps. So, go down to resistor. You're asked to find the voltage across. Put down your V, I and R. Fill in all the things you know, 0 0.2 amps, resistance here is 30 ohms here, and up here I can find the voltage now because I've got the current and I've got the resistance. So all I have to do is just go 0 0.2 multiplied by 30, and that's going to give us a value of 6 volts. So across that resistor, I'm going to have a voltage of 6 volts. Now, when the switch was open, if I go back the way, the voltage across it was 5.1 volts. Now that I've included the resistor, which is the, on the switch, I've closed the switch, the situation now becomes 6 volts across the resistor. What will be the value of the voltage across the parallel branch uh, when, I, when we worked, when worked this out? Well, we've got 9 volts and 6 volts, so it must be 3 volts. So across the par parallel branch, I'll have the same value. I'll have 3 volts. So I can just move this out of the way. It would be 3 volts across uh, each of those resistors. So that's how you do these problems. It's a well-known way to do it. You just find the parallel part, add it to the series part resistance, find the overall resistance then, find the current in the circuit, and use your Sudoku method to work out what you need to find. In this case, it's the voltage, 0 0.2 times 30 is 6 volts.